We got a ready from Bat Foy, and we got a ready from Laser Monkey. Let's go ahead and count them down. Three, two, one, Tetris. So now third place does get a small cash constellation, not as big as first and second, but do get something. And this is what these two players are going to be playing for. Batfoy, unfortunately, losing to Miles is the Daz player out of these two. And Laser Monkey getting swept by Jake. Both of them are now playing each other. Very interesting matchup indeed. Anyways, Batfoy is starting off strong. Two Tetrises. Two Tetrises on the board. Laser Monkey with one. Laser Monkey already starting off with a little bit of garbage here. And now trying to look to clean it up. Cash prize for first place is $25 and the custom controller. Second place will get $10. Third place gets $5. They will be on my YouTube, on the Classic Tetris Gauntlet YouTube channel eventually, and there might be some matches on CTWC's channel. Anyways, to start this game off, Bat Voice, really strong score right now. 161,000 for him. Laser Monkey now just passing the 100k barrier. Batfoy 194,000, Laser Monkey at 132. Laser Monkey still having some trouble really scoring some Tetrises here, and this long bar, if he does get it, is only going to be a triple. Batfoy, three Tetris lead. And ooh, interesting. Didn't want to set up the JP Sapensi, but set up the I instead. Our Laser Monkey finally getting some pieces to burn down, looking for a J, now needs an I, and still isn't getting it. Lays Monkey back in a rather a dig situation. Lays Monkey hits the T-spin, still trying to burn this down. We've seen a similar burn in game one where he was just stuck in a dig for the longest time. But now finally might be able to burn out if he can just get a good piece now needs to open this up in time for a long bar. But man, once again, just created another hole in his stack. Meanwhile, Baffle at 238,000. But Laser Monkey, after all that, finally cleaned up 162,000. Baffle has built up a 100,000 point lead. Just needs to burn. Ooh, couple of misdrops from Laser Monkey. Has a nice little hammer in the stack. I actually kind of like that hammer. <laughs> but in all seriousness, though, Batboy continuing to increase his lead and is now set up cleanly. It's the Tetris hammer. Laser Monkey starting to get up a little bit high. Found some great pieces to start burning down. Would still like a long bar to go over there on the right. Gets the long bar. Now Laser Monkey finally starting to get clean up. However, Batfoy also got a little bit of garbage to deal with. Needs a long bar, gets one, it's gonna burn out a triple. An interesting adjustment.
Baffle at 314,000. Laser Monkey at 208. Laser Monkey now 13 lines away from transition. This is actually a low transitioning game. Baffle just playing incredibly clean right now. Laser Monkey, on the other hand, still needs to try and burn this out. He's nine lines away from transition. And that's going to be a triple, not a Tetris. He might set up for a Tetris here, though. No, it's just going to burn down another triple, followed up by a single. And rough square. Square did E. How's the yike square? Laser Monkey transition at 234,000. Bat Boy set up, setting up for one last Tetris before transition. Starting to get up a little bit high. It's going to burn down for a double. Burns down for a triple and knocks down a Tetris. Bat Boy now at 424,000. Laser Monkey with, ooh, a couple of rough pieces there. Able to tap some pieces over, but not sure how well he can dig out of this. And after those hang pieces, Laser Monkey is going to top out at 243,000 long. Bat Boy to take game one. Just a truly suffer game for, La for Laser Monkey. Now we started off game number two. Laser Monkey had a really tough game that past game. However, it's always good to have just one bad game, and then you can bounce back on it and come back twice as strong. Anyways, to start the game, while both players have knocked down a Tetris. Batfoy now setting up an interesting little overhang there. Could go for a line spin. Yep, got the line spin from Batfoy. However, Laser Monkey was able to use his long bar to score a Tetris and takes a slight lead. Another Tetris for Batfoy goes to 47,000. This time, Laser Monkey taking a slight lead over Batfoy. Because Batfoy had to burn a couple more lines. Batfoy, Tetris ready. Laser Monkey also Tetris ready. Batfoy knocks down Tetris, goes to 95,000, knocks down another Tetris, bringing it up to 117. Laser Monkey sets up potentially a delay burn. And yes, very nice. Got all the right pieces for it. Laser Monkey now needs an LRJ. And they get the right pieces. Knock down to Tetris. Laser Monkey decides to still take a single instead of setting up uh, that delay burn. Knocks down another Tetris. Goes to 163. Batfoy. Looks like he does have to do a slight amount of burning. Maybe looking for an S. No, goes for the L spin. And Batfoy is Tetris ready. Anyways, pretty solid start for both players. Batfoy at 190. Trailing Laser Monkey score by, or not trailing anymore. Simo Tetris, 212 to 213. Batfoy in the lead. Batfoy knocks down Tetris. So does Laser Monkey. We're going to see almost the exact same score here as long as these two players continue to uh, Tetris with high efficiency. Another Tetris for Laser Monkey and a Tetris for Batfoy, 258 to 259. Batfoy just always one line in the lead. 
Bat Boy knocks down the Tetris, goes up to 282. Lazy Monkey holding out for his long bar, knocks down the Tetris, he goes to 281. Bat Boy Tetris ready. Lazy Monkey knocks down the Tetris, goes to 304. Bat Boy goes to 305. This is peak neck and neck. We haven't been any closer except for when it was Jeff versus Jake, and they were separated by 15 pushdown points. And now we had the exact same score for a brief moment there. Baffoy sets up a delay burn if he gets the long bar. And now we're back to the exact same score. This is peak definition, neck and neck. And uh, Tetris for Baffoy goes to 352. Meanwhile, Lazy Monkey at 351 might have to... Holding out for the J piece or another I piece. Bad Boy, 353, trailing by one Tetris now. Has to do a couple of conservative burns, but knocks down Tetris, goes up to 382. Another Tetris for Bat Boy, 405 to 399. This is actually some fantastic pace. Hold on. We're only at 86 lines. Both of these players are on pace for 600k transitions. Laser Monkey and Bat Boy, both Tetris ready. Bat Boy sets up a delay burn, looking for a T piece, gets the T piece. Oh my gosh. These players are playing absolutely insane. Bat Boy and. Lazy Monkey knocked down Tetris's. Lazy Monkey gets a perfect O for that dependency. And Bat Boy knocks down Tetris. Goes to 455. Lazy Monkey at 470. If we see dual 600k transitions here, the dual max out might be possible. We already seen one 1.1 by Jake. So who's to say that more can't happen? As both of these players are capable, as they are both 1.1 players. And nice burns over there by Bat Boy. Another Tetris by Baffoy goes up to 481. Laser Monkey at 495. Does have to do a slight amount of burning so Baffoy can solidify a lead here. Gets two long bars. Whoa. And nice spin by Baffoy. It's a very unique spin. You don't see that spin too often. But whenever it does work out, it does wonders for your board. 507,000 to 501,000. Baffoy and Laser now tied lines. Baffoy 10 lines away from transition, 530,000 to 524,000. Laser Monkey has to burn a couple of lines. And there it is, another Tetris for Laser Monkey and Batboy. Two more potential Tetrises until transition, which we're going to hit level 19 speeds. So faster paced game. Where limitations are going to be enforced in terms of movement. Baffoy burns the single, knocks down a Tetris, and goes to 578 on transition. Laser Monkey going for this last Tetris here. Can transition on a 600,000, and he will transitioning at just about 600,000 at 597. Baffoy goes to 604. What an insane game. Baffoy Tetris ready. Laser Monkey needs an O, gets an O piece. Now needs one more piece to get Tetris ready. Baffoy goes for a conservative triple there. And is not going to try and stack up aggressively. Meanwhile, Laser Monkey now needs a piece to open up that hole. Still not getting pieces. Holding out for the right ones. Now he's Tetris ready. Waiting on the long bar. Batboy also Tetris ready. Laser Monkey decided to burn down a little bit. Batboy also getting rough pieces here. And that square is going to do massive harm to Batboy's stack. And oh my gosh. Square S and Z. Batboy tops out at... Six something? Couldn't catch it. 6.19. So Laser Monkey ties it up. Taking game two. Have our ready from Batfoy. We have our ready from Laser Monkey. Let's go ahead and count them down. Three, two, one. Tetris. 
was a best of five is now a best of three winner of this of course will maintain a definite advantage of only needing to win one more game in order to win third place prize so what a fantastic game though the pre-transition being played by both players even though it seems like they both had their respective troubles was absolutely insane some of the best dual play transition that we've seen in the entire tournament Baffoy had to burn a couple of lines. Neither player has knocked down a Tetris yet, and Phillip's starting to get up a little bit high. Baffoy is the first to knock down a Tetris, and Phillip, avoiding setting up the long bar dependency, gets two long bars when he can't use it. Now has an L piece dependency, fills it in with an I. Now, Laser Monkey, Tetris ready. Where is it at, though? Has to go do a couple more burn lines. Does have a J piece dependency on the left, but finally knocks down his first Tetris after 14 burned lines. RNG has been really tough for all these competitors today. Batboy sacrifices his stack just a little to knock down that Tetris. And it looks like Batboy trying to figure out the... Ooh. Wow, what a nice... Several nice took setups by Batboy. Now Batboy hoping to get an eyepiece. He's going to burn down the double with that S. And gets the eyepiece for a nut... Ooh. Slight misdrop, but he can still get it over. Now, Batfoy has a little bit of burning to do. Tie game right now. It's definitely a little shaky misdrop. And interestingly enough, he put that eyepiece over there on the right as opposed to burning with the left. But got another one, so it doesn't matter. However, Philip, or my bad, Laser Monkey has only been able to knock down one Tetris while Batfoy is doing all the digging, as he did have to dig as well. And Batfoy takes the lead 133,000 to 110. Laser Monkey now, Tetris ready. Batfoy. Almost Tetris ready. And another Tetris. 156,000 to 136,000. And Batboy was not quite Tetris ready for that long bar, but he was ready for that one. Knocks down a Tetris. Laser Monkey trying to do his best right now. Just not getting the good pieces to score for Tetrises. Batboy sets up an eyepiece dependency. Might. Ooh, Batboy's going for a center well. And that was a nice Z spin. Goes for a flat burn. And Batboy knocks down another center well. Tetris 203,000. You like to see creative play like this where Batboy not only does things that not only does things that you would expect to see, but you also does some creative solutions to problems. And that's one thing that's great about watching him. You know, Laser Monkey over here doing a fantastic job with 200 IQ burns as well. We haven't seen him in too much trouble. Just really hasn't gotten all the RNG needed to score Tetrises as efficient as Batboy has. 235,000 for Batboy. 195,000 for Laser Monkey. Laser Monkey is now Tetris ready. Batboy knocks down Tetris. Goes to 258. Both players playing incredibly clean here. Batboy just on better pace than Laser Monkey. But Laser Monkey knocks down a Tetris. He trails by a Tetris and a half. Batboy knocks down a Tetris. Goes to 281,000. And Baffoy knocks down Tetris, goes to 304,000 as well. Both players now... Ooh, interesting adjustment over there by Laser Monkey. Might have tried to move the pieces over twice. But not sure what happened right there. But Baffoy does have a long bar dependency. He's going to burn it out. Looking for a eyepiece. Eyepiece would help immensely. Gets the eyepiece, now he's Tetris ready. Sets up a delay burn with the square. Gets a T-piece. Sets up a JP dependency and gets the JP's really good sequence right now for Batfoy. And Laser Monkey with a very nice delay burn as well. Batfoy after knocking that triple is going to knock down a Tetris. 337,000 for Batfoy. 275 for Laser Monkey. Batfoy knocks down a Tetris. 360. And Batfoy with a very nice spin. Oh my gosh, I love that spin. Spin is one of my favorites in the game. Goes up to 362, and he's almost ready to start building up for Tetris again. We got 30 lines until transition. Laser and Batfoy only separated by one Tetris. Laser now playing incredibly clean. Does have a T-Trough over there in columns 7 through 9, but gets a T-Piece. And, ooh, could have potentially got Tetris ready a little bit earlier, but knocks down a... Tetris bring him up to 371,000. Batboy at 413. 
and misses the S-spin and misses a T-piece rotation there. Or misses the Lazy Monkey had gone for the S-spin token and missed it. It's going to cost him a couple lines of burn. It looks like he actually has a secret grade building it. Secret grade forming in his stack right there. 396,000 for Laser Monkey. 415 for Bat Boy. 10 lines till transition. Bat Boy knocks down a Tetris going up to 440. Laser Monkey cleaned out of that miss shot very nicely. And now we're back to get to post transition here. Both players. And Bat Boy is actually going to transition after he clears out this one line. Bat Boy transitions at 445. Laser Monkey can knock down one more Tetris. It's going to burn a double. Burn a double. He transitions at 407. Bat Boy Tetris ready. Holding out for the long bar. Gets the long bar. But sets up a long bar dependency as well. So now Bat Boy is probably going to be focusing on fixing that up. Gets the long bar for the long bar dependency. Now he's ready to start building up for Tetrises. Meanwhile, Laser Monkey now at 433,000. Trying to get set up for Tetris. Just throwing the eyepieces over to the left. Gets the eyepiece to go in the JP dependency. Still not able to burn anything down yet. Meanwhile, Bat Boy Tetris ready. Almost needs one more Mino. Bat Boy Tetris ready. Waiting for the long bar. Lazy Monkey also Tetris ready. But he had to burn down some more. Burns down a triple. No longer Tetris ready. And could have made an adjustment. But now he's Tetris ready. Bat Boy at 515. Lazy Monkey at 447. Laser Monkey now Tetris ready. Bat Boy after a couple of burn lines is now clean. Laser Monkey knocks down a Tetris. Go to 474,000. Bat Boy back to building up for a Tetris. Laser Monkey set up for a Tetris and knocks down a Tetris. Bringing it up to 500,000. Bat Boy is also Tetris ready at 519. But unfortunately covered up the well. But he opens it right back up just in time for that long bar. Bringing it up to 548. So in the lead by just about a Tetris and a half. Both Laser Monkey is Tetris ready. Has a clean build. Takes a safety triple. And knocks down a Tetris. Bringing it up to 535,000. Bat Boy trying to get Tetris ready now. Does this couple of delay burns. Looking for the right piece. Goes aggressive for the placement. Doesn't want to burn off a single. Knocks down a Tetris. Bringing him to 578,000. Laser Monkey has a little burning to do. And that's going to cause him to lose a little pace to Bat Boy. Bat Boy knocks down another Tetris. 607,000. And now Bat Boy now Tetris ready. Laser Monkey almost Tetris ready. Both players waiting on the long bar. Laser Monkey gets his long bar first. Knocks down a Tetris. 571,000. Trailing by just around a Tetris and some change. Bat Boy holding out for the long bar. Long bar isn't coming. Bat Boy is getting droughted. Bat Boy needs some, to find some way to burn down. Luckily, get some good pieces and gonna go for a couple of flat burns here. Bat Boy sets up an interesting tuck, but hangs the T piece. And Bat Boy, after hanging the I piece, is gonna top out 617,000. After that, Tetris Laser Monkey is gonna take game three. All right, cool. So I've been made into a meme now. Sweet. <laughs> All right, we got it ready from Bat Boy. Oh my gosh. All right, we got it ready from Laser Monkey. Let's go and count them down to game four. Three, two, one. Tetris. <laughs> oh, wow. They started right as soon as I said Tetris. So let's cool down here. Fantastic post transition. It was back and forth Tetrising. However, Bat Boy with a couple of misdrops was unable to outlast. Laser Monkey and Laser Monkey just had enough points to score. Now Bat Boy needs to be able to get to take this game in order to force a decider here and have a chance for third place. Oh lord. 27,000 for Laser Monkey, 26,000 for Bat Boy. Bat Boy, interestingly enough, did not want to go for the T Tuck there. And oh, does the love that spin. Fantastic. 31,000 for Bat Boy. Laser Monkey with a dirty triple. Not a Tetris. 
Laser Monkey is Tetris ready though. And then he had covered up the well. Bat Boy knocks down Tetris, goes to 77,000. Laser Monkey, not necessarily some trouble, but needs to be careful. Single miss drop here can spell an automatic decider for Bat Boy. Bat Boy now needs a long bar to go in the long bar appendice over there on the right, or the, the left, pardon me. And not getting it, finally gets it. It's gonna set up a Z flat. And almost Tetris ready, just needs an L piece. It's gonna burn down a double using the O though. And Bat Boy just not getting favorable pieces for the build. And oh no! Several missed drops from Bat Boy. Bat Boy is unfortunately going to top out 84,000. And Laser Monkey at 92,000 is going to take game four. Meaning, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your main event of tonight the final matchup between Jake and Miles.